Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing great and having a great day as usual. So, uh, as much drama as we might have had in the markets, there's not a lot actually going on in the news. There's tons of stuff about regulations, some things going on with uh, regulation in America, regulation in China, or what could possibly be happening with these things and there was also something else about btce allowing people to uh regain their funds if you've been using um their platform before because i believe they were hacked i'm not exactly sure what happened to them but i believe money was confiscated from them from the u.s government something about russia but that was like there's not really much news except for the gigantic headline so bitcoin for the first time ever in its history obviously has gone over $5,000, which is absolutely insane. We were getting tons of reports that this would happen or people speculating that this would happen before the end of the year, around like December, November. This was the constant time frame that we got. And we got it on September 1st, which is ridiculous. So Coindesk has a, um, a Bitcoin price index and it shows that the, it reached a high of $5,013 on their index. Um, the Chinese exchange OKCoin OK actually managed to spike to a high of $5,149 per Bitcoin. But this is something that I expected would happen automatically after this event took place. Um, prices began to immediately almost pull back after this happened because we are on the weekend and a lot of times people, not, not so much panic sell, but people tend to sell as the weekend draws closer. It's very... Um, Interesting to note that when you trade in stocks and bonds, normally people will try and sell off a bit around the weekend because it's just the general sentiment of how things are. But we are in a market that doesn't close. You know, this is kind of open 24 hours a day. So it's very interesting to see these sell offs when they are not even necessary. So adding to the fact that it topped 5000 for the first time ever, we saw a massive amount of panic selling and what is to believe to be automatic selling um if you have ever used um limit sells before limit buys and sells a lot of people probably had their sell limit exactly at 5000 or around the $4999 mark this is what a lot of people do so they make sure that they secure that exact number and when this happened this is exactly when everything seemed to be completely sliding backwards as people wanted to say that they got out at 5000 and made their profit and this is what is now happening to the market the website CryptoCoinsNews.com reports that Litecoin hit an all-time high of $91.32, which is insane. I personally believe that Litecoin should be worth a heck of a lot more, especially in comparison to Bitcoin. At least one-fourth of the value, this is where I think it should be, but I, it seems like we're slowly going to get there. So, is actually Litecoin has doubled in price to where it was just three weeks ago, which is nuts. I've said before many times, if you have ever been into traditional markets, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, what have you, you could get around six, seven percent per year. And, you know, you're pretty you pat yourself on the back. You say that's pretty great. But <laughs> doubling in three weeks is ridiculous. And this is why so many of the traditional markets are now getting into cryptocurrencies because they also want these returns. So part of the Litecoin rally is believed to have come from, not directly, but, you know, he said something from Charlie Lee. He didn't, you know, bring the price of himself. But Charlie Lee made an announcement. He's the creator of Litecoin. That light, the Lightning's um, LND and the Lightning-enabled wallet were actually installed and working on the main net. So this is obviously causing a lot of hype because... Everything that seems to eventually happen to Bitcoin happens to Litecoin first. It's almost like a test network, um, but it's doing pretty well. I hope it gets over 100 pretty soon, and it would be great if it even hits 1,000 eventually because it definitely deserves to be up there. It's one of the original coins and has not failed since its inception, which is pretty great. So even after all the substantial gains that we have seen the last 24 hours, and not, not even that, the last week, you know, everyone was pretty hyped up because almost every single day was a green day. The market is now in a bit of a slump because of the weekend sell-off and a lot of the panic that other people would then be selling their coins after it hit 5,000, which is exactly what happened. Bitcoin is currently down only 5%. You know, it's, it could be a lot worse. It could be down 20%. Ethereum is down 12%. Ripple is down 9%. And Litecoin is down by seven. I expect these to slowly pick up as we get closer to Sunday and Sunday afternoon. This is when we normally see a bit of a pickup. Uh, I think it's 
it's really astonishing how quickly people around the world will sell off their coins just because Bitcoin has done something to its price. When you go on CoinMarketCap, I know I say this website a lot. It's what is what I use for my prices. When you look at the charts, especially the seven day chart or the 24 hour charts, and you just look in comparison to see where Bitcoin was and et cetera, et cetera. Once a sell-off happens with Bitcoin, every other coin follows it. And it drives me absolutely insane that this happens week after week after week. If Bitcoin gets any type of bad news, not even any other coin, should Ethereum get some type of bad news, other coins will still continue to go up. But the moment Bitcoin gets any bad news, every market follows. It's the, the, the exact thing that's happening on its charts and it drives me absolutely nuts. Week after week after week, even if these things aren't, correlating or aren't affecting each other in any other way shape or form it is kind of insane it's literally like panic selling your apple stock because mcdonald's has gone down in price because someone got food poisoning it just doesn't make any sense but this is the market that we're in and this is what we do for a living but yeah so that is literally the news for today guys like i said not much really going on especially around the weekend times we tend to have a dry spell when it comes to news and this is where we are all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope <laughs> I hope many of you sold a bit when the prices hit that 5,000 mark. Um, I know I woke up this morning and was quite surprised that everything was completely in the red, especially after all my friends started texting me, asking me what was happening to the markets. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend as usual. Hope you guys are enjoying wherever you might be, and I will talk to you all soon. See you. Hey everyone, thank you very much again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like to help me and the channel, there are ways to do so in the description below. Thank you very much and talk to you guys soon.